Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with Game 3 between the 1988 A's, who were 104 and 58, and the 1965 Boston Red Sox, who had a record of 62 and 100. If you've been watching and following along, um, the Red Sox are down two games to nothing in this best of three. And they lost both games in Oakland. And so now we move to Boston's Fenway Park, where Bill Monbouquet will try to give the Boston Red Sox a, a boost and keep them alive here in the best of three. On the mound for the A's will be Kurt Young. It was originally going to be um, Bob Welch, but because the A's are up two games to nothing, they're playing with uh, house money. So they're going to send Kurt Young out there and have uh, Bob Welch in reserve in case they need him at some time in the future. So with that having been said, we will get right into this. The lineups are the same as they always were. If you recall, Oakland lost the first game 3-1, to one, or no, excuse me, Boston. Boston lost the first game 3-1 to one, and they lost the second game 9-7. So they've both been good games. And so here we go, we have, uh, yes, we have Mon Bouquet, we'll put his, uh, I did not make a Mon Bouquet card, I had planned to make one to put out on the mound for him when he's pitching, but that never happened, so we're going to just use the Boston token, and uh, that reminds me, let me get the Kurt Young, because I know I have Kurt Young, his actual card, there it is. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. So we got Polonia facing Mon Bouquet as a leadoff hitter. 6-7 is a fly ball to right field. That's one way. Polonia out. Dave Henderson's up. He gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to short. So he's out very quickly. Very quickly, there's two down. And Jose Canseco gets a 4-9. And that's a double one to six or a single. And that's going to be a single. So Canseco is aboard with a hit. And there it is. There's a Jose Canseco card. And he is aboard at first base <coughs> with McGuire up at the plate. And that is a 4 7, which is a single. And so McGuire gets aboard. There it is from the post serial. You remember those? So anyway, he's at first, and Canseco's at second now. With those two guys having gotten hits, and I have to catch up on that, too. That's two hits allowed by Mon Bouquet with two outs. And that brings up Carney Lansford, and he gets a 2-4, which is a single... And Canseco can go the extra base on that, and he probably, I'm guessing he will. He was a running one to 16, so he will try to go the extra base. And that's an 11, and I know there isn't a negative five arm on this Boston team. So he does score. And there's, there's the Lansford card. And Lansford gets a single, a hit, or a, a single and an RBI. Mon Bouquet gives up his third hit and earned run after getting two straight outs to start the inning. And now Steinbach is up and he gets a 4-7, which is also a single. Um, McGuire, what are we going to do about McGuire? First of all, let's put Steinbach, the Terry Steinbach card. He looked like a pitcher in that card, but... That's him. So Steinbach with a single. And uh, hit allowed by Mon Bouquet. Another hit allowed. Four straight hits after two straight outs to lead off the uh, game. And uh, McGuire is a running one to 12, so he's going to hold up. He's going to stay right there. And that brings up Walt Weiss. And Walt Weiss gets a 3-3, which is a double, and knocks in two runs. So... And there's Walt Weiss. 
So Walt Weiss ripping a double and knocking in two runs. And he is having a great series. He's six for nine. So they probably shouldn't have even pitched to him. Mon Bouquet, fifth hit allowed, third run. And that brings up Stan Javier. And Stan Javier finally strikes out mercifully to end the inning. And that's uh, Mon Bouquet's first strikeout, but Oakland strikes for three big ones in the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And we go get the Kurt Young card. And there's Kurt Young. And he's out to the mound. And he's got a not, he's got a <clears throat> three run lead. Not only are they playing with house money, but now they got a three run lead for him too. So it's a lot of good going on for Kurt Young. Um Oh, yeah, let me. But in 1988, Kurt Young was 11 and 8 with a 414 earned run average. He allowed 162 hits in 156 innings. <clears throat> so we'll see if the Red Sox can break through on something like that. But like I said, they're already down 3 nothing. Dalton Jones is up. He gets a 5 6, which is a pop out to third. So that's one away. Felix Mantilla gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Boston is a 3. So let's roll the bones on that. And that's a 12, probably an out. And it is. Two away. And with two down, Carl Yastrzemski. The Yaz is up and he walks. That's the first base runner that Young is allowed. And that brings up Tony Conigliero. And he gets a 2-7, which is a home run 1-5, or it will be a fly ball. And that is a 10. That's a fly ball. Left field B. And so Boston comes away with nothing. Canigliero missing that homer. And he'll face Glenn Mother Hubbard. And he gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-10. to 10. These A's are just hitting him like it's going out of style. He gets a single. So let's go find the Glenn Hubbard card. There it is. And he's aboard. They keep doing this. This is going to be a very long recording. Hubbard with the hit, and he's having a good series too. He's four for seven. Mon Bouquet with a sixth hit allowed. And that brings up uh, Polonia at the top of the order. He gets a 211, which is a ground ball, second base A. That's a double play, and there are two down. Polonia not having a bad series, 4 for 10 with 2 doubles and 2 RBIs. And uh, that brings up Dave Henderson who gets a 3-11 which is a walk. So we'll put Dave Henderson aboard. First time he's gotten out there so we'll show you his card. And Dave Henderson. Mon Bouquet, first walk allowed, but a lot of base runners, a lot of hits. Jose Canseco up, he gets a 4-7. That is going to be a single, <clears throat> and that is the second hit for Canseco, so that moves Henderson to second. And McGuire. And McGuire gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball B, just misses a home run that would have really probably put this game out of reach. But instead, it's a fly ball to left field. And the A's come away with nothing. Mon Bouquet, though, looking really bad again for the second straight inning. And 
and Kurt Young back out to the mound. And he'll face Lee Thomas. And he gets a 1 6, which is a line out to first, one away. Rico Petroselli gets a 4 10, which is a fly ball to center. The center fielder is a 2, that's Henderson. And that is a 6, so he's out. And that brings up Lenny Green. And Lenny Green gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card. That's Steinbach. Steinbach is a 3. That's a 9. 9 and 3 is a pass ball followed by pop out. So they are out of the inning. So Boston goes down quickly in the second. We go out for the top of the third. And uh, yeah, Boston has an uphill climb here. Lansford is up. And he gets a 5-7 on Mon Bouquet, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, but he's a 4. And that's a 15. 15 and 4 at second is an out. One away. So Lansford goes down quickly. Grounding to Dalton Jones. Steinbach is up. He gets a 110, which is a pop out to third. Two away. He had a hit last time. And Walt Weiss, who also had a hit last time, gets a 4-3, which is a ground ball first base C. So, um, Mon Bouquet has his first decent inning in the third, where he allows no runs, no hits, no walks. And there were no errors in that inning. And now Kurt Young back out to the mound. Frank Malzone is up for Boston. He gets a 6-9, which is a fly ball to left, one away. Bob Tillman gets a 4-8, which is a home run 1-15. And that is a home run for Bob Tillman. And uh, he was a power end, so that's the yeah, end. He had six homers that year in 368 at, at bat. So it's not like that would have been impossible. And Kurt Young allowed 23 homers in 156 innings. So um, that's the first hit that Young has allowed, and it results in a run. For Boston, and now it's three to one with Dalton Jones up. He gets a six six, which is a single one to seven, and that is also a single or a hit. Well, it's also a hit. Dalton Jones having a really great series. He's six for eleven, and that's the second hit given up by Kurt Young. Felix Mantia up. He gets a three five, which is a ground ball to short, and that's a double play. So they do get out of the inning with only the one run, but at least it's three to one, and you can see Boston clawing back now. As they did, definitely in game two. And um, game one, it really wasn't like that. They, In fact, in game one, I think they jumped out to a lead and then gave up three runs that they did not answer back. So Oakland is up now, or are they? Yes, Oakland is up now, and uh, so we'll put the Boston pitching token out there for Mon Bouquet, and that Stan Javier will bat against him. And he gets a shortstop ground ball out. Javier is out. Hubbard is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a single. So Glenn Hubbard with his, I believe, second hit of the day.
And like I said, having a great series, he's five for eight. Mon Bouquet with his eighth hit allowed. Polonia's up. That's a five seven. That's a ground ball second, but he's a four. That's a 14, maybe an out. It is an out one. So Hubbard moves to second on that, two away. And up steps Dave Henderson, and he gets a 3-8, which is a single one to 11. And that is an out. It's a line out to second, and the A's are retired in the fourth with no runs coming across. And we're going to take a look at the Boston bullpen because really Mon Bouquet is not pitching well at all. Uh, they're going to get Dick Radatz up. He's a long reliever. And he, you know, you got to believe he would probably do better than uh, Mon Bouquet has been doing. So, anyway, Boston is now up at the plate. And Kurt Young goes back out there to pitch. Carl Yastrzemski's up. He gets a 6-5, which is a pop-out to short. Canigliero is up. That's a 5-6. Which is a pop-out to third, two away. And Lee Thomas is up, and he gets a 4-2, which is a fly ball to right field. The right fielder for the A's is a three. That's Conseco. That's an 18 and a three. In the outfield is a roll again. Shocker. That's a 10. 10 and three is an out. So Lee Thomas gets out, and he is the last out of the inning, of the fourth inning for the Red Sox. And we go to the top of the fifth, and uh, they're going to let uh, they're going to let Mon Bouquet start the inning and see what happens. And if he gets into trouble, you got to believe they're going to go right to Radatz. So, Oakland up, Canseco at the plate. He gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout, one away. Only the second strikeout for Mon Bouquet. And that brings up Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire gets a 2-10, which is a double 1-14. to 14. And that is instead a single. So... He's aboard. McGuire with a hit. Carney Lansford's up. That's a 4 9. 4 9 is a double 1 to 6 or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk for. Um, Mon Bouquet goes four and a third. And Dick Radatz comes in. Dick Radatz in 1965 was 9 and 11 with a 392 earned run average, 22 saves in 124 innings all in relief. So, and he inherits a problem here with runners at the corners and one out. They're going to bring the infield in cuz they have to with Steinbach up. And that's a 5-10 which is a strikeout, two away. So Steinbach strikes out. And now the infield's back, obviously, and that brings up Walt Weiss, and he gets a 1-3, which is a pop-out to short. So no runs come in. Radatz comes in and shuts the door on the A's. 
And so we still have a 3-1 score going to the bottom of the fifth. And Kurt Young going back out to the mound. And Rico Petroselli is going to face him with a 2-10, which is a strikeout, one away. Only the first strikeout for Kurt Young, and Lenny Green's up, and he gets a 5-2, which is a fly ball to left field. The left fielder is a 1, and that's Dan Javier. That's a 19, might be a roll again, and it is. That's an 11, and that's going to be an out. So, two away. And Mel Zone's up, and that's a 2-5, double one to 14, or a single. And that's going to be a double. So Mel Zone hitting a double. Only the third hit allowed by Kurt Young. And uh, Tillman's up. He homered earlier in the game. He gets a 4-8. <clears throat> and that's a home run, 1-15. to 15. He might do it again. And he doesn't. It's a double. But he knocks in another run. Fourth hit allowed and the second earned run allowed by Kurt Young. And Dalton Jones up and he gets a 2-7, which is a single one asterisk. So they can't send Tillman. Not that they would have because I'm going to suspect Tillman's not the greatest runner. And he isn't 1-9, to nine, so... But that's the fifth hit allowed. Runners are at the corners with two down for Mantia in a very key situation. And he knocks in the tying run with a single. Felix Mantia. So Kurt Young, who was cruising, now all of a sudden is in real trouble. And Yastrzemski's up and he gets a 5-6, which is a pop out to third to end the inning. Yastrzemski always seems to come up in key situations and choke. But the Red Sox do tie the game at three apiece. So we'll see how long the leash is now for Kurt Young because they're in a they're in a tie game. And Radatz is on to pitch and was looking pretty good when he came on late last inning. Javier is up to face him. He gets a 2-7 which is a ground ball to the shortstop so he's out. That brings up Glenn Mother Hubbard. He gets a 3-8, which is a triple one to three or a single. All right, and I knew that was going to happen. My light fell down. We'll, we'll just keep it right there. Um, and what was that? 3-8? It's a, it's a single for Glenn Hubbard. So, Glenn Hubbard getting a hit. Let's see here. He's out at first base. Yeah, I think you can still kind of see everything. Hoping it doesn't slip too much more than that, though. Um, Hubbard, amazing series. Six for nine. After Javier got out, so there is one down. And uh, Luis Polonia up. He gets a 1 5, which is a single. So Polonia is on first. And the question is, is Radatz going to give it all right back? <coughs> Dave, <coughs> Dave Henderson's up. He gets a 112, which is a fly ball right plus injury. <coughs> so that's two away, and we'll roll for the injury. And he's only temporarily injured and remains in the game. I believe. Let's see. Let's just check that. Batter is temporarily injured, yes, and remains in the game. And that was two down, so Canseco is up with two on and two down, and 
he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. So Radatz does get him out of the inning. He guides them out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth, and we are going to replace Kurt Young, I think, I would say. So Kurt Young pitches five innings. He allows six hits and three earned runs, and they're going to go get somebody else. And that somebody else is going to be Gene Nelson, who I do have a card of. So let's go write him in. Gene Half Nelson comes on. There's his card with the White Sox, but that's the one I had, so. And uh, Boston is up at the plate with Tony Canigliaro batting against Gene Nelson. He gets a 3-6, which is a single 1-12. to 12. That's an indeterminable. And that is an out. It's a line out to short. So Canigliaro is out. Looked like he would he would get aboard, but he didn't. Lee Thomas with a four six is a fly ball to center, so Lee Thomas is out, and that brings up Rico Petroselli, and he gets a five eight, and that is a strikeout. And in case you're wondering, in 1988. Gene Nelson was 9 and 6 with a 306 earned run average and 93 hits allowed in 112 innings. Again, all in relief, so he can go a while. Um, we go to the bottom of the 6th inning. No, that was the that was the bottom of the 6th inning. We go to the top of the 7th and I'm hoping Tony LaRusa manages the White Sox this year that way. That would be nice. Um, we go to the top of the seventh, and Lenny Green is going to be up. No, wait, no. Oh, God, again. I think Nelson just got them out of the sixth inning. So, yeah, Oakland is up. All right. Yeah. Oakland is up, and uh, Mark McGuire at the plate here in the seventh. And he gets a 6-8 on Radatz, which is a double 1-17. to 17. And that is going to be a double. So that's huge. They have the leadoff runner at second base with no outs. Put McGuire up there. Third hit allowed for Dats. Carney Lansford up. He gets a 1-8, which is a double 1-9. to nine, And that's going to knock in a run. And it does with a double. And that's the first run that Radatz has allowed. And uh, that was Lansford. And there's still no outs. And Steinbach is up. And he gets a 1 8, which is a home run 1 to 11. Or a double, which is knocks on another run. Steinbach has been big this game. Radatz gives up his fifth hit, second run. Still no outs. And that's Steinbach now.
Walt Weiss up. He gets a 3-4, which is a single. And we're just going to stop Steinbach there. In the bullpen for Boston. Stan Javier is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a fly ball B, but scores Steinbach. So one away, but Javier with a, an RBI. And that's the third run allowed by Radatz. Hubbard is up. That's a 5-7, which is a double one to 10 or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a double for Glenn Mother Hubbard. Hubbard has been incredible this series, I just have to say. Un, I mean, he has just really been unbelievable. That is his seventh hit in ten trips to the plate in this series. Run doesn't score. Infield's coming in, I believe, because there's only still only one out. And Polonia up. And he gets a 110, which is a triple 1 to 14 or a double. That's going to be a double that scores two, or a triple. That's going to be actually a triple for Bologna. That scores two runs. And there's Polonia's card. This is him with the Yankees. And so Polonia with a hit. Radatz gives up another hit and the fifth run that he's allowed and that will be it for him and they'll bring in Arnold Early. Arnold Early on the pitch. They were hoping to get more than that out of Radatz. Four and a third, two thirds, one, two. So he pitches three innings. Three complete and then Early is on. I don't know what he pitched last time. Maybe three, so. Anyway, it's not a good situation. Infield in for Dave Henderson at the plate, and that's a 4-8, which is a fly ball B to left field, which scores Polonia, and that's two down. Henderson with the RBI. That run goes to Redats. And Canseco's up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a single. So Canseco's aboard. And McGuire's up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a single one to 14. And that is a single. This is crazy. And I really wish they would stop hitting, but they don't. McGuire with the hit. Lansford up. He's been great. 6-8. And he is single 1-13. to 13. And he does get a single. Everybody moves up a base. Who was that? That was Lansford. I think that might be Lansford's second time on base this inning. And Steinbach is up. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball B, and mercifully ends it. But not before they get six runs in the seventh, the A's do. And now it's 9-3. to three. I would say that that's probably it for the Red Sox, but we know better than that. We've seen them come back from 
from this kind of deficit and almost come back to tie the game. So I don't want to say that exactly. Uh, yeah. So Lenny Green is going to be up at the plate. And he's going to... Nelson walks back out there. And, uh... So we go to the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Lenny Green up. He gets a 6-7, which is a walk. Lenny Green with the walk. Malzone is up. He gets a 5-11, which is a walk. That's crazy. Here they come. Here they come. Malzone with the walk. That's his first walk of the series, too. Bob Tillman gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball right field. So there's one away. Dalton Jones gets a 1-5, which is a single, and loads the bases. And, of course, they have to go station to station because they need base, run base runners and runs. They don't need people thrown out at the plate, as I've said before. Felix Mantia gets a 6-7, which is a walk and forces in a run. So hold on, just hold on. Yastrzemski's up, he gets a 6-12. He always ground ball B. It's a ground ball B, and a run does score because the A's had the infield back, so there's two away. Yastrzemski scoring a run. Or Yastrzemski knocking in a run. But now there's two down, and Canigliaro is up, and he gets a 2-10, which is a home run, three-run homer for Canigliaro. And now, just like that, they're right back in it. This is crazy. He hasn't done anything all series, and now all of a sudden he decides, hey, we really need to step it up here. They're going to try to get Nelson through this inning. Lee Thomas is up. He gets a 4-3, which is a ground ball to first base. That is McGuire. And McGuire is a 3. And that's a 9. 9 and 3 at first base is an out. So Lee Thomas is out. But they get 5 runs, and my cat is a little upset in the background. But that is 5-7-8. What? Is that what? Is that right? That's right. It's 9 to 8, people. 9 to 8. So you can bet we're not going to see Gene Nelson again. So anyway, we go to the top of the 8th, where Oakland will be batting and hoping to get more runs now be off of early because they go, they're going to need it, maybe. Walt Weiss gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to short. So Weiss is out. Javier's up. He gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball center field. That's two away. And Hubbard is up, and that's a 6-6, six, six, which is a double 1-12 to 12 or a single. And that's going to actually be a single for Hubbard, and Hubbard continues to be scalding hot here for the A's. Let's lead him off so you can see him a little better. Hubbard, an amazing 8 for 11 on the series. And Polonia comes up and he gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout. So early sends him down. And uh, that's his, I think, sec first strikeout. But anyway, no runs for the A's in the eighth. And so here come the Red Sox trying to get back into this. Well, really, they're back into this. It's I mean, it's 9-8. to eight. 
<laughs> I don't know how much more into it you could be. Um, Petroselli up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball short. One away. And Nelson did make that pitch because we didn't um, bring anybody in. So with one out, we'll let him stay out there. Ground ball B for Lenny Green. All right, so Rico Petroselli is up at the plate, and now he's facing Dennis Eckersley, who comes in to uh, nail everything down with a nine, a slim nine to eight lead. And Petroselli gets a single one to 16, and that is a single for Petroselli. And with him aboard, you got Lenny Green up. And Lenny Green gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball double play. So that is going to be two outs in the eighth for the Red Sox. And Malzone is up. Frank Malzone gets a 6-4, which is a home run 1-10. And that is a double. So they really needed that to tie the game, and they didn't get it. Bob Tillman is up. And he gets a 6-7, and that's a strikeout. So the X shuts him down in the 8th. And they will have the top of the order, the Boston Red Sox will, in the ninth against, you would have to think, Eckersley. But right now, Dave Henderson is on to face Arnold Early. He gets a 3-3, which is a shortstop ground out, one away. Uh, where did the other dice go? Oh, there it is. Canseco is up. He gets a 3-3, which is a fly ball center field. That's two away. And Mark McGuire gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. And early sends him down. 1-2-3. So here it is. This is for all the bananas right here. Boston can get a run. They tie the game. If they can get two, they win. Dalton Jones is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be a single for Dalton Jones. And let's get Eckersley out there because he is out on the mound. Felix Mantia gets a 1-5, which is a single. We got the Eck. He's in trouble, but he's the best pitcher they got. So, you know, they're not going to relieve him right now. And Yastrzemski, who usually has choked in these situations, he does again. He strikes out one away. Canigliero is up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball center field B. That's two down. The Red Sox are down to their last out, and it's Lee Thomas, and that's a 6-3, which is a fly to left. The left fielder for the A's is Javier, and he's a 1. So that's trouble, and it's an out. And so that is it. The Boston Red Sox have been defeated three games straight in the best of five in this series. And they uh, will go home, and the 1988 A's will move on to the next round. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.